this is going to be a little gruesome, but I'm going to show you how to clean the squirrel. Now again, we are back home. I've got a cooler. We've got dogs barking, all the good stuff. So we're going to take our squirrel. Now, now you don't need a nice, super nice hatchet to do this. This is again what I do. So um, what you want to do is you're going to chop the head off. I'm gonna chop the feet off and the tail. So one fail swoop, you wanna keep your fingers obviously out of the way. So we'll go ahead and get this done. So we've got that and that's the tail. Okay, set that aside, sweep that off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the feet off. There we go. It's a little bit harder on a surface like this but it'll get done let's see go ahead and do that if you go swiftly it works good again we're going to go ahead and go there and there this is obviously going to be the more gruesome part we're going to cut off the head so we're going to do that one fell swoop. And if you've got a sharp enough axe, it will get it done. So you've got that done. Now, you have the body laid out. Now this is what I like to do. It's called the shirt and pants method of doing it, okay? So how I like to do it, you have the back here. We're gonna cut a slit in the back and we're just basically going to pull his shirt and pants off. With this, if you've got a really, if you've got a nice hatchet like this, you can do it. But let's use a knife to kind of do it. Now, you don't need a nice skinning knife or anything like that. You could actually do it with uh, a really nice like pocket knife. Well, I recommend getting, get you a nice skinning knife, a filleting knife to do this, but Here's what you do. Again, you pick that up. You're going to cut you. Cut you a little. Try to cut you a little hole. Now this, this proof can prove to be quite tough to do. There we go. So now once we've done that, all you have to do, again, is get that little hole. Get your fingers in there and you're going to pull them apart okay now you are going to get some hair on it there's just there's no getting around it okay there's one fell swoop that's not too bad just mopping off my and this can get a little messy and hard to do. The old, I have found the older the squirrel, the harder this is. It's just, again, no way of getting around it. There you go. See how we're getting it? Sleep his legs, just kind of pull it off. And it is a lot harder than you think to get this off. You would think it'd be easier, but it ain't. Okay. Ugh, almost got it. Almost got it. Now, you might have heard a little shot of BB fall out. But it made it through the skin into tart and that was it almost come on buddy there we go <laughs> into the grass which is normal okay so now you have this and again you've got some hair on it and whatnot so here's how we're going to handle the rest of this okay so what you're going to do and this again is kind of be the kind of the gross part you're going to start cutting you to cut there Cut there, cut nice and easy and slow, okay? 
Honestly, he's a little slow. And then what you can actually do is you can uh, poke up, cut up the belly if you want. He's full of whatever. Golly, he's full. And you've got the guts here, which, okay, you've got all the guts. I cut, I go ahead and cut up. And you can see where he got shot. He got shot in the heart, okay? So you've got blood there. All right, so back to it. Take that. And basically, what you want to do is pull his guts out. Okay, see how actually pretty decently clean that is? And you just let it fall out. And throw it over there. I'm gonna throw it over there next to the tree. Birds, cat, something will get that. So just leave it alone. And I'm gonna cut all the way up through here. Now, again, we're gonna clean this off, but all in all, that's decently clean. That is really decently clean. So what you can also do, let's wash this off real quick. Cutting it up wise, you've got meat there, there, and the two front legs, and you have the back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut it up for us. So we're just gonna cut, cut right there. There's one piece. Cutting right behind the shoulder blade. You can get the chest meat if you want. that or you can do the good old-fashioned chop it up <laughs> which that works too that second one so you can do the third one I do need to sharpen this knife it's okay This is a ball joint. You just kind of twist it, twist it, twist it until it pops. There's one. I'm going to get the second one. I'll twist, 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 twist until it pops. Try to pop. There you go. And you got that. Now, you've got the big carcass here, and a lot of people will even cut this bottom half off, and they say it's real good, and we're going to try that. Now, this is what I do like having a bigger, a uh, like something bigger to process game with. You'll have this, and this will just be able to just go right through it. So we'll do it at the end of the rib cage. Cut that off, cut that off. And then the rib cage, what we can do is we can also throw it over there for the cats or whatnot. So I like cats around because they keep vermin out of the garden, but they also poop in the garden too. So, and that's going to be your 
other piece of meat. That's going to be your back hand. This is or a kind of like the squirrel back strap and whatnot. This is a good thick piece of meat. Don't want to waste it. So guys, that squirrel gave you a handful of meat, which when it comes to it, your stomach, your stomach is all of that, that right there. So that one squirrel will feed you for one meal. So you've got multiple, you know, multiple family members, all that. But again, we're going to get inside and then I'm going to put this in salt water and then we'll kind of put that in the freezer. So stay with me. 